Hello beautiful soul and welcome to the Heels Healer Tarot. My name is Angel. Thank you so much for joining me here on my channel where we learn, grow, and expand together. Working to raise the collective consciousness one unique soul at a time. This channel is dedicated to spiritual enlightenment, self-actualization, and aligning to meaning and purpose in life. So if that is something that you are interested in, then you are in the perfect place at the perfect time for the perfect reason. All we have is the now. So whenever you come across this reading, it is indeed the perfect time for you. However, we do draw upon the energies of the cosmos to help guide us like a roadmap towards your highest good and your greatest soul's vibration. This is a general collective energy read for the energy of the day for Wednesday, September the 28th, 2022. All being born to the energy of 43. So I love this 43 energy coming through today. We have the astrological energy of Mars, Trine, Saturn. So I want to talk a little bit about a trine because a trine talks about your divine perfect self-expression. It's like the Holy Trinity energy. It encompasses the energy of 120 degrees, which talks about your foundation. The trine in astrology is depicted by the triangle or a pyramid, which talks about its stability and its peaks. The energy talks about taking action, taking action now with that Mars energy through inspiration and tension and divine free will. It also talks about focusing your energy, having layers of focus on what it is that you're manifesting the four to the three energy of manifestation. Four talks about realizing or manifesting and creating your destiny. So the trine energy also talks about the energy of ease and flow and things just simultaneously coming together. Seamless energy. You are awakening to the four and the three. Expresses a realization of service, purpose, divine work. Seven, true meaning and purpose in life. Saturn energy of responsibility, rules and divine order. This energy is asking you, what are you awakening to? What do you realize? Emperor energy represents the energy of universal and cosmic law and divine balance. It also represents the energy of ebb and flow. I was getting the picture of like the ocean and the ocean is constantly moving back and forth back and forth so it appears but it's actually constantly moving forward in the direction of its desire like a current or a stream seven energy talks about life force and symbolizes divinity mastery through change learning lessons and movement with intention and faith. The energy of the day says to be bold. Go for what you want and express yourself authentically. So let's take a look and see what energies are coming through for the energy of the day. For the collective, for Wednesday, September the 28th, 2022. All about awakening to divine purpose and manifesting your dreams. What action is the collective taking today? What opportunities are opening? And what is the potential outcome 
for Wednesday, September the 28th, 2022. And so it is. Thank you, Spirit. I am so grateful. I am so grateful. I am so grateful. All right, beautiful soul. The opportunities. Eight of Swords. Mm, I want to say we got this card not too long ago. So let's talk about Eight Energy. Eight Energy talks about transformation and change. It's a higher level of realization. So when we look at the energy of four, that's a basic realization and understanding. Whereas the eight energy is an ascended higher understanding. It's almost like the energy of the hanged man being able to see something from both perspectives, kind of like seeing it from the material physical world as well as the astral world and being able to identify true cause and effect. What needs to change is this perceptive mindset and thinking. There's an opportunity for you to release the thoughts that are kind of keeping you stuck and chained in the same constant paradigm or loop. Where your attention goes, energy flows. So this energy is reminding us that the change that you is creating is the change of the thoughts that you are creating on a regular basis. So what you think about, you bring about, beautiful soul. Be mindful of what it is that you're thinking about today as you're creating very acutely or promptly with the energy that we're in. It really talks about sudden changes with the eight energy, things being realized and manifested attainment and fulfillment so i'm almost getting like what they say is called a self-fulfilled prophecy so just be mindful of where your thoughts are leading you and what it is that you're seeing in your day-to-day -day. actions to take follow your intuition don't be confused by your thoughts your thoughts can be your worst enemy and I'm getting that energy that says, don't be confused by your thoughts, because sometimes your thoughts are there to fool you. To make you see something differently from what it truly is. The chains that bind you are the limiting mindsets and the beliefs. I'm getting the energy here with the high priestess, which talks about what it is that you know you know how to release yourself from the limiting mindset and the limiting beliefs that keep you from reaching your fullest potential. Eight is the energy of almost reaching realization or manifestation or nearing some energy of attainment. So what this energy is really saying for me is that in order to bring the change about that you dream about, you have to change the way you're thinking. Potential outcome, beautiful soul. Knight of Pentacles. I love Knight of Pentacles. Slow and steady wins the race. It's also an energy of duty and service. It's commitment. <laughs> this is funny that this came up. I posted something on Facebook yesterday that talked about showing up for oneself. Right? Who else can you depend on if you can't depend on yourself to be present for yourself to show up and be accounted for and to come as you are authentic in spirit and that's how this energy is coming through releasing the mask or the facade not trying to be anything different than truly who you are i'm seeing the energy of perfect self-expression here which is one of my favorite sayings infinite spirit open the way for clear and concise messages in the perfect way for I am an irresistible magnet for all things that are mine by my divine right with perfect self-expression. That's the energy that we're in with the Mars trining Saturn. Mars talks about I, I am that Aries energy, all is mind with the Swords energy, the mind, the thoughts that bind. 
And this particular deck has the high priestess holding a sword. It's the wisdom to know the difference and being able to cut out all things that don't resonate with your highest vibrational good or your divine spiritual journey. The Knight of Pentacles is that he who knows or they who knows or the divine soul who knows the journey and chooses to go on the journey of knowledge of self. What you don't see coming in, beautiful soul. King of Pentacles. What you don't see coming in is your self-mastery. I love this card. This is the energy of self-mastery. Mastering one's environment. Mastering oneself. Mastering one's abilities. It's an energy of autonomy, sovereignty, independence. But also the energy of loyalty, resilience, dedication. So this energy is saying as long as you continue to stay on this journey, freeing yourself from limiting mindsets and beliefs, seeing your full potential of all that you are and acknowledging your destiny and your birthright, the culminating energy is fulfillment in full. Knowledge of self and mastery of self. Beautiful energy. I love it. So let's see what oracle messages are coming through for you. Oracle messages, spirit. What additional messages does the collective need to know for their highest vibrational good? Highest vibrational good. And so it is. Thank you, spirit. The energy of seven talks about your personal power and your free will. And I'm getting that energy, what you think about, you bring about. Envy. Mm. Two energy. Things that are hidden, things that are unseen. It's almost like moon energy. But you are aware. With this light here and the energy of the high priestess, which is also an energy of two, because you're connected to your material and your spiritual, to your higher self, you're aware of the hidden enemies that are around you, which is also a scorpionic energy as well. That Saturn energy really, 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 truly talks about hidden enemies and what hidden enemies are around you and how to overcome any of the obstacles that might be standing in your way. So let's take a look and see what this energy means specifically for you and a little bit of a more deeper meaning. The energy of 20, it's an energy of judgment as well. Are you judging yourself too harshly? Lack and dissatisfaction. This card shows a woman holding a huge pearl in one hand and a platter of coins and pearls in the other. She stands in a silver room looking out at a golden city. On the horizon, on the horizon, she has a life of value already, but she ignores that and longs for the shining prosperity she sees elsewhere. Instead of feeling happy and fulfilled, her desire for more only cause a deep sense of lack and dissatisfaction, and that energy shows in her dress. This card is telling you to let go of the jealousy and acknowledge the blessing you already have in your life. Now is the time to shift your focus. After all, when you envy others, it only attracts more to them, not you. Notice that you have. Notice all that you have and thank the universe for it. If this card is near appreciation, the message is double important. Now is the time to move from a consciousness of lack to one of value. With this shift, all things change. Moving from that lack mindset, beautiful soul. Your affirmation, I let go of lack. I look at the blessings in my life with joy and satisfaction. I am glad. 
Affirm it in the comment section, beautiful soul. I let go of lack. I look at the blessings in my life with joy and satisfaction. I am glad. That has been your energy of the day, beautiful soul. Thank you so much for allowing me to read for you. I am truly honored and always grateful. If you haven't already done so, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that like button. Share these videos with those that you believe could benefit from the messages and subscribe. Become a part of the Soul Joiner family where we learn, grow, and expand together. Working to raise the collective consciousness one unique soul at a time. And that unique soul is you. Until our soul paths cross again, soul joiners, I am wishing you love, peace, blessings, happiness, and abundance beyond to you. Have a blessed and abundant day. Namaste.